Hey, new tonight off the top this evening, the family of a Utah man missing since mid-May says his body was recently discovered in the Jordan River Surplus Canal. Thanks for joining us for Two News at 10. I'm Mark Abell. And I'm Heidi Hatch. They still don't know how Tyler Svetich died, but his mother is suspicious that someone may have hurt her son. Lincoln Graves with this exclusive story tonight. He's live at the Parkway Commons Apartments in Murray. Lincoln. Yeah, so this is where Tyler Svetich lived for the past year. Uh, friends and neighbors who knew him, they held a vigil here tonight in honor of him. I also spoke with his mother tonight from Colorado. Everyone who knew him says that he is a person who would help anyone. It's the news Beth Svetich had been dreading. The positive confirmation from the medical examiner was uh, this morning. Speaking to us from her home in Denver, she says she was told the body found in the Jordan River Surplus Canal on Saturday was her son Tyler. He had been missing since mid-May when Two News first reported on his disappearance. He was an amazing soul. I mean, he had such a good heart, such a big heart. That's echoed by neighbors at his complex who organized this vigil for him tonight. It's unknown what happened to Tyler. He was known to hang out by the Jordan River, even swimming in it. His mom says he wasn't suicidal. She admits it could have been some kind of accident, but she also worries someone may have targeted him. She and neighbors describe him as a quirky misfit who liked to wear dresses. Be honest, though, the wearing the dress makes it a huge target especially in a very conservative city, um, that's a huge target. It's a feeling she can't shake. In the meantime, she's just heartened to know that those he lived near cared enough to show up for him tonight. That made my heart happy. That just made my heart happy that these people cared for him and loved him and befriended him and um, they'd talk to him and, you know, mother him. <laughs> Now, I also reached out to Salt Lake City Police tonight. They said that based on all available evidence at this point, there is no evidence to suggest foul play. However, they say the investigation is ongoing and that it's essential to allow detectives to follow the evidence and draw conclusions based on their findings. They released a longer statement. You can read that whole thing in this story at KUTV.com. Live in Murray, Lincoln Graves, KUTV, 2 News.